ओके नाउ सो दैट सो दैट सो दैट द सीक्वेंस सीक्वेंस लिखिए n इज इक्वल टू 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 इन्फिनिटी टू टू दावर टू एन एन स्क्वायर e to the power n n factorial one upon ln square n converges converges so ye diya gaya hai isme do sequences hain agar aap dekhe to ek ye jo hai maan lo isko ye maan lo ab in dono sequences ko aapko check karna hai ki it is it is correct or not it is converges or not you can call me so now let let a n n is equal to 2 to infinity be the sequence of be the sequence of partial sum be the sequence of partial sum of A n n is equal to two to infinity. We claim. We claim that. A n n is equal to two to infinity. Be the sequence of. We claim that. be the bounded sequence be the bounded sequence one way to show this is by showing that the series converges so if the convergent sequence is bounded okay so hum yahan pe show kar denge ki ye converge kar agar ye converge kar rahi hai sequence here मान लो ये ए एन है आपका ये ए एन है और ये बी एन ओके सो वी क्लेम दैट बी द बाउंडेड सीक्वेंस वन वे टू शो वी हैव टू वी विल शो दैट the series summation n is equal to 2 to infinity an converges an converges hum isko convergent show karne ki koshish karenge ki convergent kaise show karte so we use the ratio test you know that ratio test kya hota hai we use ratio test this ratio test mein kya tha in ratio test limit n tending to infinity an plus 1 upon is equal to l. if l is if l is less than to 1 then converges If L is greater than to one, then diverges, and if L is equal to then test. So, ये basic ratio test था जो आप लोगों ने पढ़ रखा होगा already. तो इस ratio test का use हम करेंगे sequence की convergence को check करने के लिए. आपके पास sequence क्या है? फिर से note down करिए. Sequence है आपके पास. एन इज इक्वल टू 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 दावर टू एन एन स्क्वायर थ्री टू दावर एन एन फिर सो लिमिट एन टेन टू इंफिनिटी 
an plus 1 upon an is limit n tending to infinity 2 to the power 2 n plus 1 n plus 1 whole square e to the power n plus 1 and n plus 1 okay this is and an is e to the power n n factorial 2 to the power 2 n n square so limit n tending to infinity 2 to the power 2 n into 2 Take the common n square, 1 plus 1 by n square, e to the power n, e, n plus 1, n to n factorial, n factorial. Now, e to the power n, n factorial, 2 to the power 2 n, n square. So, is n square say cancel out n square? 2 to the power 2n say 2 to the power 2n cancel, e to the power n say e to the power n cancel, and factorial. Okay? Now, now, limit n tending to infinity to 1 plus 1 by n whole square e, e, यहाँ पे कॉमन ले लीजिए वन वन प्लस वन बाय एन और यहाँ पे कुछ नहीं होता ओके दिस इस नाउ इफ वी ऑपरेट लिमिट एन टेंडेंस टू इनफिनिटी देन ऊपर क्या बचे कट टू और ये लिमिट एन टेंडेंस टू इनफिनिटी पे यहाँ पे ये पूरी पंड समझ रहे हैं कैसे देखो वो सो एक स्टेप और लिख देते हैं सपोज इफ वी अप n tending to infinity. So this two and this becomes one. This e dot. So this quantity becomes zero because limit n tending to infinity one by n is now 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 by ratio test. ratio test now by ratio test n is equal to 2 to infinity converges n is equal to 2 to infinity converges and so And so, a n n is equal to two to infinity. N is equal to. And what is the a n? A a a of n n is equal to two to infinity. Is a partial. Partial. So n is equal to n is equal to two to two to the partial sum of the series. The partial sum of the series. Now, the partial sum of the series. But and now using the statement, every converged sequence, every convergent sequence is bounded. Hence, a n n is equal to 2 to infinity 2 to the power 2 n n is square e to the power n is a bounded 
with the prompted question. Moreover, so we we will do the first part. Now second one is second one is PN. Yeah, is equal to two infinity. One upon ln square n. Monotony decreasing and limit n tending to infinity one upon ln square n goes to goes to. So, so by Trichlet test of convergence, by Trichlet test of convergence, we have that we have that n is equal to two to infinity. 2 to the power 2 and n square e to the power n n factor z 1 upon ln square n is uniformly convergent c is a uniformly convergent c so this is the process. This is the process. How we will solve the different types of the problems using Trichlet test for the convergence. So we again give the statement of Trichlet test for convergence of series of real numbers. So please uh, see this one. Trichlet test for convergence of series of real numbers. Let Where n n is equal to one to infinity and b n n is equal to infinity b sequences of real numbers and let and n is equal to 1 to infinity. Denote the denote the sequence of denote the sequence of partial sums of partial sums of n is equal to 1 to infinity. And and if this partial sum n is equal to one to infinity bounded is bounded and p n n is equal to one to infinity is a decreasing c. is a decreasing sequence of real numbers. And limit n tending to infinity pn is equal to 0. Then we conclude 
summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity n bn n so basically this is the statement this is the statement so in this statement it is said that Basically, in this uh, statement, it is said that let A n and B n be two sequences of real numbers. Basically, there are two sequences in A n and B n. And uh, let capital A n n is equal to 1 to infinity denote the sequence of partial sums of n is equal to 1 to infinity B n. If capital A n n is equal to 1 to infinity is bounded and B n is equal to 1 to infinity is a decreasing of real numbers. And limit and tending to infinity, Bn is zero. Meaning there were first two other sequences to hold, who are the bounded or each other, the partial sum bounded or each other. And second one is a monotonically decreasing and converges to zero. So the combination of both the sequences, A and Bn, converges uniformly by digital. So basically, this is the statement of the digital. Look, this is the statement of the digital. So now we will discuss the Abel's test. This is very most important topic of the today's lecture, Abel's test. So what is the Abel's test? Abel's test for convergence. Abel's test for convergence. Now, what is the statement of the Abel's test? If summation of an converges and bn tending to L for some for some ten. Summation of A and B N converges. So in Abel's test, we first prove A N converges. Okay. In Ridgely test, we prove that this is a bounded, but in A Abel's test, we first prove this is converges and converges to some limit. Also, and B N is monotonically decreasing. Vn is 
मोनोटोनिक डिक्रीज तो इफ ए एन इज कन्वर्जेस एंड पी एन इज मोनोटोनिक डिक्रीजिंग देन द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ बोथ द रिजल्ट ए एन बी एन कन्वर्जेस यूनिफॉर्म कन्वर्जेस यूनिफॉर्म ओके now i hope this lecture is very very beneficial for all of you because i i have uh, already discussed the for fifth to sixth uh, example on based on the digital test and we also discussed the abel's test so i will upload this lecture on my youtube channel so if you are a new or you are joining the first class then please subscribe this channel this unmatch forum and you will see the all the lectures and study materials so i stop the today's lecture here i hope that all the points are uh, clear to all of you and, uh, so thank you very much for listening me carefully thank you everyone thank you Ran ranjini thank you